Hello and welcome. Right, I do apologise for having my... It is true, I've got to be honest, it is one of those sources of irritation to myself when things do go like that. Uh, I, I suppose, yeah, you see, map makers are sort of going out on their own, but then you sort of wonder, is that the fact that Giants doesn't sort of show them things or, or not? Or I don't really know, but... It's a lot of things that map makers would have done in FS19 that aren't necessarily done by map makers in FS22, and I know modern rules have changed, but it still it, it makes it more difficult for players, and the maps are built for players. So I can understand sometimes why players mark them sort of quite fiercely when they go on a map, and it really is. But then again, I also understand modders have spent hours, but that I suppose that's my point. If you're producing something for um, the public. <laughs> <laughs> Even kind people like usually play Farm and Simulate. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure they're not everybody's kind who plays Farm and Simulate. But on the whole, I think it's a good community. I really do. But I still think if you've got to try and discern what people want, then you, if you start to do things that are totally... I mean, I'm, I'm friends with JM Gaming. Uh, I've done a lot of his maps. But I've sort of said to him sometimes that... Uh, yeah, he likes things monstrous and he's got his own, but sort of you're delivering a product that people are sort of playing. So to a degree, although you've got to observe your own creative ideas to a degree, also you've got to realise that people are people and you, there is a degree of that's got to meet their expectations as well. So I'm, I've sort of tried to look from both sides as a friend, realising he's he has got his like Oxygen David will not compromise on what he believes is right and that is that's all good and proper it really is but then every single person who plays his map has still entitled to their opinion whether it dis disagrees with his or not and then people have got the right to vote now i've quite made it quite obvious that comms is my favorite map so i've always gone oxygen david's maps but that doesn't mean to say i like some of the things that he does or even some of the things that um my friend jam gaming does equally it's uh yeah it's not always you don't agree with anything everything but i've got respect for him as both a creator and as a uh, friend as well so yeah it's you just it is what it is but i still do apologize for ranting a bit you see it's weird if someone touches you and presses your button you just like tend to be rah, 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 you know and that was a bit like that i mean i wasn't terrible I don't usually, it takes a lot to make me really lose it, and I don't think, no, I'd, no, I would give you a laugh, it depends on how bad it was, how bad the rant was, Mr. CP, likewise, he does his rants as well. Now I am, this is my discussion with you, I, I, throughout my Let's Plays, I often have what I call brainstorm moments, where I'm talking to you, and then we throw ideas around, and I know you're not talking to me, but I also am conscious of the fact that I'm talking to you, even if I can't hear what you say back. And that is, I am a bit of a, a loss as what to do. It is true. Now, I'd like to go animals. And it is true. What I said last session is true. There's 120 animals in this. I really don't want to do two. So it's sort of like, well, do I make do with 120? There's also that mod where you can increase the amount of animals to 2,000. I have got that mod in, but I've never known how to actually use it so do you let's just switch this on for a minute oh i was right if i had to hit it by me oh it's not oh you can't be actually on it then right so yeah it's not 120 but it is brown swiss's turn as well can you yeah and what i need to do is press the help menu on yeah no it's still only toggle that so yeah there's nothing special it's i say i don't know whether i have to go into xml files i'm gonna to have to have a look at it because i don't really ever want to put another sort of one in but i could because it really means we're spending money that we really at the present moment in time we have bought well we have been we have the farmyard so we can have for totally free 120 animals but i really don't want to have two i've done it i did it on polenia because i wasn't happy with the amount of animals i'd got but it's that running backwards and forwards and filling the two and it, it's a lot of work extra and it did, it sort of taught me a lesson. 
in Polenia and I thought never do that again it's a real bad move if you're going to do anything ignore the one on the farm and go as big as you want to go outside so we could tear the field to pieces now there's going to be bits of grass on it so it won't let me do it at the minute and we could stick Rolly Christie's in with 490 in it for 150 grand but then it's going to take all of our cash we're on hard economy it's tough the only lifeline we've got so sorry for shouting the only lifeline we've got is the windmill which produces between 20 and 30 grand every single month no matter what economy that's our single leg up and it's it sounds a lot but it's like I've, the last three sessions have all been in the month of March and April. We haven't had any tickles because I've been working because there's been work to do. And I don't move on a month unless we've done all that we can do. And I do like to focus, if I can afford it, on our farm. The only time I'll ever do contracts if the farm needs me to do contracts or we're doing a contract start or something like that. So I am wondering, obviously, we have really gone... It's ever so strange seeing sunflowers as red. I've never seen, obviously, a map ever do this again. We've got our four fields of grass. If we're not buying our cows straight away, then obviously we can cut all of those fields and do silage. Now, it's true. There's only one mod in the entire game, and that's the BDSSB thing that will produce fertilizer from silage or anything else other than silage for a BGA. It's the only thing. And obviously, I could go BGA. We could just literally chuck that into... This is a thought I was having earlier. Do we? Is there a BGA on the map? Is it a dear one, a cheap one? What? What is it if there is one? I mean, obviously, we've gone for onions. I really did want to do that a lot. Let's have a look. Farmer's Market. No, it's, it's, a, it's a BGA's a production like that, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's... Oh, it's little. It's a tiddler. I'm absolutely tiny weenie. If if I think the 250 kilowatt one is totally not fit for purpose, then what am I going to think about the 99 kilowatt one? And that really is very true. So let's have a look. We could sort of see how much it is, though. And... We could sort of, at that point, now that we bought it, sort of, like, go... And we could sort of... Oh, it won't let you sell it. Will it let you demolish it? No, it won't. What I was thinking was getting another one fitted in the same place and making very good use of space but it is true that in a lot of maps obviously you're not not supposed to have that sort of free reign or most map makers won't allow you to do that so let's sell it back yeah it was just an idea that i thought i'd look at it and have a look but yeah it's just too small for us to actually do anything like that so that's that's gone and literally is completely gone let's have a look and the other thing i often say is study your map to see if there's any prices of anything that sticks out I, obviously there's a few things and we've gone for onions and we're going to look for this yeah all of this stuff as well horse grass and horse grass silage it's a very complex map and then the spelt now this is hard economy they're they're awful anyway yeah which is about right for what that would be silage sorghum likewise there's buckwheat that's not bad Mustard. I was tempted to do. I missed the the beans. I wanted to do the beans. And for saying that's hard economy, they're not bad prices. I don't think we'll be able to do anything with them. Poppy. Oh my life. That is brilliant. As are lentils. Again, I don't know what the sort of thing. I mean, they're not bad. Millet's not bad either. So I'm tempted, sort of, to be more of a normal farmer really and, and actually sort of try to produce the map things uh, rather than which means if we we're going to do that we could sort of buy the cows and not get the bd ssb and probably go with something that's more traditional that i, I normally would do based upon these which would be the death pledge maybe go production shed but only for producing our own lime and even that i just think it, it 
we could just totally not have that. I would like to have Cavalier Royce, but I've got to be honest, we've not got the room. And if we buy the field, we can't afford our cows. And I really would like to do that. Yeah, the one thing I did say that did sort of strike a bit of a chord, though, was that we could sort of stick something there. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter. if The, the one thing I did learn from um, combined counties was if you put something in your cow field, it's it will probably make it do things to the variables about how big your field is and how much grass. But... The animals don't walk or didn't walk on the Omitano garden that I stuck in the pigs on Command Counties because I kept looking. I was quite intrigued to think, what's going to happen? Is it going to stuff it? Is it not going to work? Or Excuse me, I sneezed, but I did mute it this time. Yeah, I, I sort of was looking with interest because I was never aware of what would happen. Now, we could sort of, in real life, we could cordon this off. Now, this is a game, and obviously there's sets of rules. I do like watching those jets, quite amazing. So, could we stick Cavalier Roy's in there? That's what I'm thinking. Could we do that? We've not got any extra space. We've sort of taken it up with our only asset, which is that. I don't think it'll let us, because I wouldn't be bothered if I could demolish that shed. But it won't let us do it. I think this farmyard is it's new, new. So I doubt very much we'll be able to demolish or even sell anything, even if we do it on non-demolish. Yeah, this is a traditional map where you can't sell anything, not a, a not a sausage. So we we have got what we've got. That is, is yeah, you, it's not a single. Wow, that is. I bet you we can probably do the tank. No. <gasps> Not even the tank. Wow. You do often find, though, when a map is first released, you're not allowed to do anything. And then often, because people grumble about not being able to move anything, and, you know, thing changes are often made. But uh, we could sort of see if the Cavalier, Cavalier Roy would fit in there. I don't want to sacrifice any of our grass fields. If we've only got the little ones, we've now got to maximise the space we've got. And if you look... Yeah, we've also got to... My grass fields are the perfect one if there's space at, this, at the edge. We might have to put it in Vima, but Cavalier Roy's is a little bit awkward because it's you sort of have to go from lots of different angles to sort of get it perfect. So let's just see, is there any room? That's not our field. There's a lot of trees, but I'm not really worried about that. I mean, there's things there, like old gates... But it would still cut. Yeah, let me show you. Cavalier Rose is quite large. It always looks like a, a biogas plant in itself. It's not huge, but it's just a little bit large to sort of like you. Cut, it's going to take some space up. I mean, like seriously, take some space up. It's one of those. Not a huge factory. It's a strange shape, and it is large. Yeah, it is going to sort of best part of your field. And then, of course, you can see you've got to really leave the middle bit out. And then you need the nozzle to grab things out of it. Not that I very often take things out of it. But, yeah, if we just wander around the farm, you will see that there's no room at the inn to put this down. Yeah, there's bits in the corner, but not not enough. It's, it is a large-ish mod. Yeah, it's beautiful, but... Uh, the only place I could see was if it could fit in there, which it does look like it probably would. Yeah, we'd probably need to put V mode in, and it's that way. Uh, I suppose that wouldn't hurt, actually, thinking about it. You could put the nozzle over the... Well, I very rarely use it, but it's one of those things that you would want to use. So I think we probably need to stick it in V mode, because those are obviously really supposed to be animal things so we could stick that in there but then it's going to stuff up the what well, one thing we did say so let's save the game because i can always reload it if this doesn't work i did want to use cavalier roy's just to sort of see if we can make use of it can we make this into sort of like one of the main things for the let's play uh, so we need to look at that side as well. Really? Yeah, that'll be because it's in the field. 
move up a little bit. I think that's about as far as we can go. Yeah, that's not too bad. We will have to do something, but I'm not worried about that a minute because we don't know if it's staying. I'm either going to reload the game or I can fix this by doing leveling and lifting on this corner. So I'm not worried. What we do need to see is can we make it work? Can we make a viable business out of the bits and bobs that we do do? So liquid fertilizer. Now we can produce our own. So this is the bit that's going to take a bit of a bit of like working. So I've never done these from there. So we would need digestate, which we can do from the grass digestate. We will have manure when we got our animals and we'll have methane from. I think the thing is we need to do our. Silage from this. If I remember what I sort of learned from this the other time. We can produce our own digestate from destroying slurry, but I also think we need and from manure. So TMR. I could I think I'd prefer to use the Omatana. Uh hey, you just do straight grass. Diesel. This is one of those things that didn't make much sense to me because diesel's not that good. I mean, not when you consider what you're using, but it is also a multiplication one. You get, you put an 18 to get 24, you're getting six free water. So it's not terrible. The sugar beet court's really useful and also gives you a bit of stone, which is quite useful. Silage additive is a good one. So really, that, that really is a good little earner. And we'd only need the digestate, which we've got freely, and slurry from the cows. Mineral feed's a good one, but it does take a lot for you to do that. So we'd have to grow these specific crops, or at least two or three of them. Now, we're growing sugar beets already. Corn and canola we're not, nor are we doing wheat. But we could, for future years, have a go at this. With a slurry, you can rip your manure. But to be honest, yeah, that's not always a good thing. The lime's a good one, cause, but we've got no stones. And... Yeah, we, we, I'm not going to let that. I'm not going to let that happen. Where I do that, the seeds is a good one. If you produce your own herbicide, which of course this also does the herbicide from all of that lot, which also is a very good one. It loses a bit. You're losing quite a bit of methane. So the solid fertilizer is a good way. Now it's the it's the methane that you've got to worry about making, if I remember rightly. And the way you make your methane mainly is this one. So that means we'd have to do some of our grass to actually make that happen into this rather than all into the Omatana. The best one being that one, I think. Yeah, it's the grass silage one is that produces the most methane and goes straight to silage. So, yeah, and then that one doesn't produce any, nor does that. Slurry doesn't. Lime doesn't either. That produces salt, which is brilliant. Seeds, herbicide needs the methane. So that most of these things need quite a bit of methane to make the processes happen. But we can see it will work. So we can use this sort of instead of the production shed, really. So if we're going to keep that, we're going to have to fix that. No, no, we've not done any real damage over there. If we just... Do this, lift that corner. Do you like the way that giants have made that feather now rather than burst as it used to do? And then if we level at the back and make it large ish, so we've got a cheat. Ooh. We've got a level from here, haven't we? Ooh. Oh, okay, that, that's a bit odd. That's it level from we need to level from that corner because that's the bit that's uh yeah we need to that's it that's it perfect yeah that's now leveled that completely we can see the grates we're all level that means it'll work and it's a little bit of a slight movement up to get to that it does need water and everything too we did say we wanted to put a distributor in to take the water to everything. But also I did mention the cows because 
unlike a lot of them, we need to bring water in. And I presume it's to this. So if that's right, to me, it makes perfect sense that we'd probably put the distributor again in here where we have the water going sort of from here. So really, we need to do a bit of testing. So we need to grab the water thing because I need to, I mean, I'm going to use the biggie. So I suppose, yeah, let's, let's do this properly. I know this is a bit of an abnormal thing, but I always find these are the sessions where I feel that I make a breakthrough on finding out the best way for us to go forwards. You do make the best sounding boards. And it's often these what I call the brainstorming sessions where we really sort of turn things around and, and find good ways. Or I say something and then realize, oh, that's a good idea. Let's do that. So let's have a go. Let's see. And we'll put a tap down. Yeah, let's reverse. It's a lovely farmyard. I've got to be honest, I'm not easily pleased with farmyards. I actually quite like this one. Uh, oh. What are we filling with? Nothing. It's just you can fill from there. That'll be me that's made that rock a bit. Yeah, we'll have obviously done a bit of damage here than more than I thought. Yeah, we have a little. So what I'm thinking is probably if we could sort of... Because what I'm going to do is probably what I've done in other Let's Plays, which is... Well, the trouble is we need to put the distributor down. It always confuses me. Right, let's switch that on first. Yeah, so I am right. That's the water dropping bit. So if that's true, I'm not sure where this one feels from. We could really... I'm trying to design my farmyard based upon the requirements of what we've done. So we could sort of put the distributor somewhere near where we are. And obviously we need to have some water in there. And those cows could, in real life, quite clearly get all the way around there. So let's put the distributor. But I also need to... Let's stick the distributor down first. If I can find the right button to actually put the distributor down. Yes, yeah, so I was sort of deliberating and chewing ideas up before I started the cameras, and I was like thinking, I was sizing up all of the um, my enclosures that I like for the game, and I was like, oh, yeah, but then I've got no money for buying the cows, whereas right now we have got the money for the cows. So I was thinking, what do we do then? What do we do? And I was trying to think, well, let's do so. I don't want to always, I always go farm, Jeff, always go this, always go that. It is. Yeah, it really needs to be. I always forget. Dump is where you dump into it, and. That one is where you take it from it. So we should really never need to take from it, if I'm right. Now I'm sure that it's the other side, though, that doesn't seem to make any sense. That is the one. So let's stick this down, and let's stick a tap down, and see, am I right? Is there a better place for it to go? Can't block that. But you could sort of... It's obviously three-dimensional. It doesn't really matter if, and we can. This is a, just a test. So I think it's that side, not that side, that's important. Let's put this. This is all all testing. It really is. I, I, none of this might stay here. This is just us seeing. Can we make this work, or is it a totally silly idea? Right, okay, let's test. So I think it's that side, the one that says dump, is the one, whereas the other one to me still says going in. Let's 
to see. Am I right about the side for dumping the water into the water? Into the, yeah, the animal place. Fantastic, that looks good to me. I think <laughs> it was funny I had to see whether it's got water in it or not. Right, okay, well that looks good to me, but if we grab that, can we dump that into there? And if we can, we can arrange this much better than we have done and leave this as a... I mean, we could buy a cheap tractor and a dolly and just leave this hooked up to this all of the time. Yeah, I am right. So the overloading to this is right there. So with that being true, what we really need to do is sort of the best design I can think of is sort of like at an angle that's going to do both by just pulling forwards and pulling backwards but then it's not going to be stationary for the animals is this better or could we turn that slightly around? We could actually, thinking about it. We could rotate that so that the end was facing towards the barn. So I wanted to do it like this. I've never done it like this ever. I haven't, but it, I do seriously think we can move it, can't we? As if I can remember, you have to sort of. Yeah, yeah, that's not really what I want. Oh. That's that's the one we need to do. Get need to get that sort of right. Can you? We need to rotate it the other way. That's the wrong way. They just move up and down. No. Nope. Let's do it old fashioned way. Let's sell it. it. In this instance, it makes more sense, unfortunately. Obviously, we're not really. In real life, you'd actually. We're just testing. So, one good thing about this game, really. Well, <laughs> it's amazing. You say these statements, which then implies that actually is the only good thing about the game, which is not, of course, not at all what you mean. Yeah, it's one of the good things about this game is uh, the fact that it is a game. So we we said instead of we sort of do it like that. We had it like that before. It's like that. That's what I meant. If we, because that way, it's can we put that brown bit there? It's not blocking the cows. If we do that. It's sort of almost in the same place. And then if we demolish the tap, if we can select it, it's a bit hard this is to do this sometimes. Right, and then if we put another one down. Yeah, I have sort of really come to the conclusion of how important design is for a farm of like sort of not automating exactly but like as automated as you possibly can now if we overlap that we really sort of can actually overload and load in the same possible place which is really good for us right smashing so now if we turn those off we should find we should sort of be able to we're not blocking anything the cows can freely get to that they don't mind if things are left in the... I know this myself. Animals are really quite... The cows especially, they they are... They're, they're, they're curious. I'm not trying to say that they're not. But they, they once they know that what, what how something functions, they're quite happy with just leaving things with how they are. So can we get... Can we get to everything? Yeah, that is definitely, definitely filling. Is that filling the distributor as well? 
because of the fact that we put it so well. Um, maybe. Let's have a look. So we want to... Yeah, we now need to... We said we're going to concentrate on this. So, I, yeah, it is what we said we would do. And we want to tell the water to distribute to wherever it's needed. We want the... Obviously, we've got nothing to put in here at present. We will cut... We can't make water. We do need to put some grass in here, but I think we'll wait for the next cut. We will... What are we using the... It's yeah. What are we using that for, though? If we're not using the Omatana to make, we could make TMR, I suppose. Do we need silage for this? We need to make silage, and then you could make TMR ourselves with a bit of straw. But I, it is true. If we've got the Omatanas, likewise, they're one of their best assets. Is the fact that they're silage digestic produces half again as much on that so that means that's going to call for water and this one likewise is is wow 500 odd tons that is a tremendous amount it really is so the digestate from both we need to tell to distribute and yeah I this is probably going to fill because it's going to use the digestate. But I, I, I am, it's true. We're going to use the farm productions more than anything else. We are so silage, digestate. That's going to call for water. We want the digestate on this one likewise to be distributing. So that is fantastic. 100 tons. Aha. So it is. Does it feel faster than it? Yeah, the thing that I love about this slouches one, you'll notice it's now to start filling, is it fills more slowly, but still does a valiant effort and then empties. So it's really perfect for this, but this is a hundred tons at once. So we could let it go down to 70 tons and then it's still gonna take quite a while to fill that up so yeah it's fast but it's not super duper fast although it is fairly good right so e even so it's going to do well mind you we do need to do a bit don't we think about this we do really it's filling so it's yeah it's let's see how we're doing in the water distributor yeah already at 55 tons we don't we do need quite a bit to be honest yeah, it's filling. Well, I think, to be honest, we could sort of do one of these every single day, really, and that's not going to be terrible. So animals is what we do want, because we do need to produce things, but we also need to do TMR. So I'm wondering, do we buy our straw in and some hay? Oh, or do we do our own hay with our own tether, or do we just do grass to hay next time? for half of the or even for a full load because then we could make the silage it, it's a bit of a funny one this is yeah I'll tell you why Which, do we need the digestate though don't we to produce a lot of the things in this it's quite a few of these that need digestate quite badly we also need slurry and manure which we can't have until we do the cows and we can't produce the methane until we do the silage this away but we're going to have all silage we could do some hay from or we could buy the hay in i suppose it's not mega expensive and we can have straw from the yeah we are from the it's true i think the real thing we need to do is we are going to buy cows but it's going to have to be in its own sweet time it's going to have to be. There's nothing else we can do. Now, we did all of the work on the farm. We've literally all worked out. And it's not going to be, the grass is not going to be grown until May, June, July, I think. It's either June or July morning. I always get confused by this. Let's just do one more filling. 
and that will have had at least 200 odd tons and then what we're going to do is we are going to go through and we're going to sleep definitely now, there was something I saw actually that was strange in editing and I thought hang on a minute that No, it's not. It's, yeah, it probably is, but it's. Um, I don't want to waste half the episode. We've already had a, a, a chat and all the rest of it, so I think we'll. Uh, we've done everything. We've set everything going. I think we're just going to rest, and it is indeed eight o'clock. And I'm hoping we're going to see growth everywhere. We're going to have a look in the morning at the fields, as in on the uh, on the PDA, as they call it on our personal digital assistant. We have already got a very good, that's a good price, but we can already do better than that. So I'm not really gonna worry about that. So we're up to 265, do we see growth? So it's the thing that was worrying me a little. Yes, everything is showing green. So that's growth stage one for our grass that is remaining on our little fields. Let's go and do a water run. I want to do one of these, at least one of these, every single day. Oh, wow, that did take a long time, actually. It's still doing it. Right, so we should now see quite a lot of, should be almost all of the digestate. And will this be asking? No, it won't be asking for any at the minute. We should see exactly... Oh, of course, it was limited by the amount of water that was in there, really, both of them. So we're not going to see, because we were limited to 78 tons of, wow, still done very well. Yep, so again, we need to let that sort of go in. Yeah, it's definitely, that's growing nicely again. Let's do exactly the same. We've done all the work we can. There's nothing we can do at all except for go through and till some work on the farm. So we're going to go through again. And we're going to sleep through till June morning. Should be second growth stage. Yeah, I am tempted to actually hay everything. Or just cut the grass and then make it into hay straight from either. We've got three productions that all can do that. So... Two, four, five. Mulcher. We've got that built into the plough. And yeah, it's the only one of the holes that I really tried it once and was thought, nah, I just don't. It's a very good price. But I just can't ever see for myself or my place I'll a need to actually do it. So second growth stage. So we've done everything again. Let's go and make sure. We're still filling. Wow, that's very nice. And let's go through till tomorrow morning, where it will be third growth stage. Uh, shouldn't we be looking at the onions and such like things? Yeah, <laughs> single-mindedly focusing on the grass. And I mean, I know some flowers are late, but again, I haven't really studied the clock, uh, the growing cycle on this particular map. So I really should not be doing what we're doing now. Ooh. 12 meter. And a 4 meter. I am a little bit um, confused. I did look at the sprayer at the beginning. It was 25 grand. And I thought, do you know, we'll stick to it. It's got a 24 meter spread. I think the new one has two, but it's just not worth it selling it. So I thought, well, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, this is a planter, but it, it is sort of doing pretty much everything. So I'm not sure. I don't think that normally does that, but it's still going to show the same on this, isn't it? If we look at vegetable planters on the map, because it's going to show what it does on the map, not actually what it would normally do. Yeah, you see, they've all got this. It's like the map maker said, whatever you've got, whether it be a planter in it or a cedar, it does everything. But let's check that. Let's go to the cedars, because it seems that way. 
No, the cedar's doing more. Wow, there's a, such a shed load of stuff on this. So we do need a planter as well. So we could buy that four meter. Look at the price of it. I think we will. Oh, I didn't realise we'd actually done that. I'd forgotten. No. You you'd sometimes don't realise how certain things do the same thing. So we bought that. Uh, isn't this third grade stage? I believe it is. Yes, it's the lovely golden... Because I'm not sure if this is one of those that... Uh, we're in April, May, June, July. Yes, it's fully grown. You can see that. So that's definitely ready to rock and roll. And we've just seen the sales. I'm wondering about the seater. 150 horsepower. I can actually buy one probably for that. Already, I don't think this has a three point link at the front, which I really do like to have. Yeah, I'm right. I think we should say no. Nope, we're all right for that. I'm tempted with that because it's also a catch crop. But I think, yeah, I think we're happy as are. It is, I do like it. You can see, obviously, those catch crops with it as well as weed. But I think we're all right. We've got the sprayer. You can't have everything. We've got a fantastic... I think I'm going to have this as a connecting episode where we do all that we've done and then because we haven't got animals right now i will be doing this but there's one thing i would like to do which i promised i would do whilst this is one of those episodes where we're not actually uh let's use the little that fence so we want to drop yeah let's drop that off in there grabbing the mower I just wanted to show it's not something I show very often and that's course play when you alter a course because there's a couple of bits that need changing I'm only going to show ooh. is that the right one no My bad, so it's the other one. That one. Apologise for that, that was not, <laughs> not intentional. Right. Yes, it does, does remind me quite a lot of the uh, Ven GT. But only the storage is a little smaller. Yes, as I did promise that we would do that. I do like that planter. So we've now got a four meter cedar. Wow, really is a sluggish pull off. Yes, so uh, for those who aren't interested in seeing this, I'm, it'll only take five minutes, but I just wanted to um, so you make this opportunity to sort of show how to change your courses and edit them when you like we've got things that are going on on the uh, farmyard that we've seen so we're going to stick to the animals we are going to be buying the animals soon i just want to get the hay this time so we're going to cut the grass and we will make the hay so we need to change the course to field 28. Uh, 28. And the course is a 7 meter one. Load, activate. And then. That's uh, not right. So now. It's weird. I'm not a master of this, to be honest. Let me have a look. 
Is it like the draw fields? Or do you click the thing and then... No, you've got to be in the tractor with the actual implement on. The course has got to be loaded. And then we're already on the GTA. So we need... I know it's something to do with this. That's the one. It's, it's You've got to open the course editor. Yes. Now then. Right. So the real problem is right on that bank. We need to change and pull in those little tiny... We're going to do the basics. So we want to go... Moves away point. You've got to hover over this. And you will notice it goes blue. And it's a bit weird. I've got to be honest. You've literally got to... I usually hover around until I can see it go blue. And it's not always where you think. Look, you'd think I'd be on it now. But I'm not. You can see the cursor Flo flipping around in the grass. Right, it went blue then. That was there. It's a bit finickety, if I'm honest. I always thought this was a bit... And then when you've got it, you have to, I think, drag it. It's as simple as that. Then let go. Simple as that. Go. These, these ones here, the start one and this, these are the most important ones. It really is a strange place that you edit it to actually get it. thought it was actually it's a better better vantage point it might be the move oh, oh, that, ah that was better actually yeah it will ignore the tractor it doesn't care about that it's so he's right near the bottom. Maybe he does actually care about the tractor. Maybe I'm in the way of the bottom of the point. No, I'm not sure if I saved that. Apologies. I think I will have changed... I think you've got a, uh, yeah oh no it does remember it sort of auto saves fantastic <laughs> do you feel like i know what i'm doing no i've got to be honest i don't edit these very often but it's it's one of those moments where you can learn and, and show everybody else at the beginning just as much it, it's it's a matter of just showing people really in sitting that's if you can find the right one to move. It's ever so. This is the bit that I've always found quite frustrating about this was that it's not where you think it's going to be, and that that really shouldn't be like that. So it had nothing to do. What if it's the fact you can't move the first way? He's way, way off. Actually, we do want to move that one. Uh, why is that? We're not on duplicate, we're on move.
think I think that'll do so only a little refinement but I've got to be honest we shall now see whether we did that or not now we still got the course I think because we changed it we now need to literally oh. ah. <laughs> oh do you know now then let's see has that made any difference or will we go down the uh, the bank that's all I'm gonna say now the other thing is we need to be checking the silage because I'm not actually doing this I'm just sort of seeing if the change that we made should mean that we're not going down the bank anymore uh, oh, no, no, it's, it's sort of yeah that's not like it uh, Wow, I can actually leave the gate open on this one. Fantastic. That's all we need to know. Excellent. Our work is complete on this. Right, fantastic. Let's go and have a look at do a water run. And I would imagine we can do start overloading straight away. Because it sort of feels quicker than it empties, so it's going to take quite a while. Now then, how did we do on the silage? We did check, yeah, we did. We checked the sales. And we just need to check the silage to see, did we finish that off? Or is it still, yeah, all of that's gone. The 213 tons, there should be 100 and odd tons of digestate. And in number two, there is, actually, I can see it is a bond productions. It's the second one. Which this one here is oh no that that's the one we did see. Three hundred and fifty-six tons of silage and one hundred and seventy-eight tons of that. So now we need on both of them to switch them up because next time we're gonna do hay, whichever one we do. So then we're gonna leave it there and next session we're gonna get cracking. I know it's been a small one and it's been mainly me talking. One thing I would like to do though. Let's have a look at our fields to see how we're actually doing. We have done a bit of damage to that. It, or perhaps the fact that you can't see the grass, the undergrass, is uh, the real sort of thing. Ah, that's where we had it delivered to. Right, brilliant. The sugar beet is growing. Oh, weeds. You forgot about that, didn't you? I did, actually. Let's have a look at the weeds on the map. And we'll also have to do that this coming session because Mr. Clever Clogs forgot about that. All right, let's have a look at weeds. So all of our fields are growing. Our four fields and four out of four at need weeding. So we will. That is true. The herbicide. We could make it for ourselves. Not to sell exactly. Not mean that. Well, so what do we need to buy in farm productions to make herbicide? We really need to buy some animals. The digestate we can actually do straight away because we've got a shed load of it. And the rest we need to have produced some. Yeah, it's, 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 we're still a waiting game, aren't we, really, for what we're doing. I think it's more a matter of cracking on. So we're going to do the grass and we're going to do hay this time and we are going to, I'm going to do the weeding. I think, I think the one that suits this is probably the fence, which, where did I stick that? Oh, we're up on the grass field, aren't we? We need to put its narrows on and we need to be sending something else to do this. It's a shame about its um, weeding sort of thing. I think it's 21 metres instead of 24. So that's the other thing that it really is better in a way to stick with what we've got. And I believe we're passing it, I'm sure. No, I think it's in the first shed. I think. No, it's not. It was right. I think we've only got the back. need 
narrows so I believe we're around the corner at least then we've done the prep and so are we gonna go I think we what we will do is because it's been a short session is we're gonna literally pop down the shop and grab some herbicide I think so uh, yes and customize we want your narrows please for 1000 oh at least they're not awfully awful oh okay they are re oh we have got a bit of straw haven't we have we said that We've got two straw bales which have been very kindly lent given to, not, not lent given to us really so we're going to go down to the shop with the truck and we've got the very trailer we need. Yeah, this I, I do like this shed, but it sort of I would have preferred it if we could have put something else up here because we've got a shed load of sheds down on the farm. So it just seems a bit. I think it's probably for again certain play styles would mean you would do haystacks or straw stacks really as you would do in real life, but then. My playstyle really, I very rarely use bale storage because I'm always ripping them to pieces for the omatana or the straw or things like that. So, yeah, to me, my personal playstyle, I never, ever. Occasionally, like on Calmston, I'll use the straw for straw. Now, we've got that beautiful ability of chucking straw in there and it will make straw pellets, which is something that uh, we could do even now grab those and stick them in with the Massey so do we need anything else we've done all of the planting stroke seeding we're going to grab another desk boys and that's going to be dedicated as the seed box although again as I often say we could get a seed front mind you the desk boys does just as well and it's very much cheaper than the proper box so why would you but then if I suppose you've got them in the sales, why would you like to say no, really? So yeah, it's true. It is a very gorgeous map and the amount of... Yes, I'm looking forward to actually doing quite a lot of the crops. So we might actually be more arable than we I normally do. Yeah, so, yeah, so we're looking for a harvester. Uh, and it is of course going to be tough because we are on hard economy but luckily we've got a fairly decent team of tractors and equipment already which is quite useful one of these times I'm going to grab that belt system as well yeah should have brought another tractor on the trailer with me should have done but I didn't it's alright saying these things and forgetting smash it so then we need I, did, I think I did start this engine I'm sure I did right so then we need are we going to grab some more another pallet of diesel but we also need are we going to we're doing grass uh, sorry hay yeah grass to hay this time so we herbicide we do need for now uh, I would say for how much we've got to do for at least we do want a def and I'm not buying the little one it takes forever to actually do it another thing of diesel and that's really what we came down for do we buy we are still going to need, we, were, we did find out we were out of fertilizer, but I think we had it delivered. I think that's what we saw. We'll grab one. And two of those, because we could go into chickens, really. So we're just going to quickly stick this lot on, ready for next session. I think I'm going to do this off camera, because it no, it's not. Look, we're going to do a mini time lapse, I think. Yeah, we will. I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other.
side. I think we'll leave it there. Yes, I do. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm off camera going to grab the belt system because I am absolutely sick to death of seeing it down here. So expect to see that down the farmyard next session. Yeah, definitely. Enough. Alright, so I am going to that. I've overloaded the truck a little bit too much, although it can cope with it. It is super springs, but. Yeah, it's a little still a bit silly I think I shouldn't have done that yeah it's dragging a bit yeah so all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey and I'm going to say goodbye for now <laughs>